Right, so we're at the entrance to the A.R.S. Ruchtersfeld Transfrontier Park. We've just checked in here. It's another 20 kilometers to Sendelung's Drift. Here we are. It's good to be here. Overlanding. So today we're in the Richtersfeld and we're going to tackle the Hellskloof Pass. It's quite a pass, it's quite long, um, some sections are quite steep, others are okay. We did use four-wheel drive a couple of times. So enjoy the video and let's get through the pass. Hellskloof Pass. It's very dry, there was no water around luckily because you can see on the right hand side when it does rain, the water must flow down here quite nicely. So it was dry for us. We had a very interesting drive around. Right, I find it quite amazing actually that uh, some of these plants that grow here. It's so dry. Some of them are green. There were some flowers we saw, some wild flowers on the plants. It was really amazing. The scenery was fantastic. Right, so far the road had been okay, a little bit rocky, but not too bad at all. I was quite surprised so far. Okay, so here's some different uh, kind of quiver trees. They don't look like they're doing too well this side, but they're all around. And on the other side of the road as well. So we're still in Hellscliff Pass. Very nice.
Right, you will note that the roads are very quiet. We didn't see another vehicle on this entire um, journey up the pass. There are other people in the park. Um, we're staying at Sendling's Drift. Uh, we've been to uh, De Hoop and we've been to Poikis Prom. And there are people camping there, but um, there was nobody driving around, which was quite amazing. So we had a very peaceful journey. Right on this section of the pass, I used four by four, but high range, um, just for extra traction. It doesn't look so steep in the video. The video is a bit deceptive, but um, this part was fairly steep, a bit rocky, a bit bouncy around. So four by four high range was my choice. Worked out pretty good. Right, there you can see we're almost at the top of this little section, but uh, you'll notice a little bit on the left-hand side of the screen. There the road keeps going up. It was actually a wonderful road. Long and winding road, as I say there. But uh, yeah, it was superb. We really had an enjoyable time. Right, so here we are, almost at the top of Hellscliff Pass. We've come from the valley. Down there, down that side, we've come all the way up Hell's Cliff. It is a bit of a Hell's Cliff, but it was a good drive up the valley. We still have to go. Way up there. So we'll see where that goes. Sorry about the wind, but uh, yeah, it's been blowing here a long time. Right, that's where we've come from. going to there the road is going down the hill all the way you can see it on the right hand side there and look at that wonderful valley that scenery down there isn't that just amazing so let's go uh, we're hoping this road joins up with the road um, that goes over Akadas Pass later on Right, so it does join up with that road later on, but first of all, after Hell's Cliff, you've got to go up the Domoro Pass. So we're on our way there now. Enjoy! Right, we're now on the Domoro Pass. I think it's the right way to pronounce it. Right, so this pass and this section of the road is going to be a little bit rougher than what we have had, a little bit steeper, and we're going to have to engage a bit of 4x4 low range. So enjoy the drive.
Hey, the road's a little bit wonky up front, so one form. Right, I must say I was pretty impressed with our Chevrolet Trailblazer. We had no problems at all tackling any of the roads in the Richtersfeld. Towing our big road trailer, um, it went marvelously well and uh, really an amazing vehicle. Enjoying driving it. Right, so I think that's a half mens, that's what they call it. I think that's what it is. The first ones we've really seen um, on this pass, Domoro Pass. So, yeah, it's good. Pass is quite rough, uh, but anyway, we're going up here. So this is a picture of the valley. Um, we've just come up this pass. Quite hectic, but it's a magnificent view from here. You can see the road right at the bottom. We've climbed up quite a lot. And uh, yeah, it looks like we've still got somewhere to go. But that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This side is a little bit greener. There's a couple more plants and things. There's our old trailblazer, blazing a trail, and we still have to go up there, over the hill and far away. Right, picnic lunch in the Richtersfeld, in the Flakta here, in the valley between all these lovely mountains. So there we are in this valley. It's a warm day, it's not hot, it's not cold, it's just lovely. And we've stopped by this tree. Yep, there are some trees around in the Rochtersfeld. And we're having the picnic lunch. 
So that's lacquer. I've got a castle free. It's actually quite nice. Castle free, no alcohol. So I'm legal to drive. Lacquer.